Uh, hey guys, Nenad Sarawne here. So those who don't know me, I'm Nenad uh, from BMC Bangalore, third year student. So, and by the way, happy Raksha Bandhan. So, happy belated Raksha Bandhan. And uh, yeah, this video is about uh, placements. A very short video, straight on the point. So, I'll be covering two main points. How I've been preparing for my placements. And second is what resources I've been using to prepare for my placements. And one more thing, uh, I, I'm not an expert here. A lot of people are there on YouTube who know better than me how to crack placements. But I just want to share you my experience, what I've been doing. And I think it will be helpful for you. And second thing, this video is about on-campus placements, not about off-campus placements. So I create some separate video about that, like how did I apply for off-campus placements. So yeah, that's it. And now let's get started. So uh, I've been a developer for past 2.5 years, uh, doing a couple of little internships and then building projects in development space and then blockchain space. I also explored a, group, like, a little bit of AI and ML. So yeah, like uh, I did all this, but is that enough for placements? So that's the that's a very big question. Uh, so I went I went and asked my seniors like what what should I do to prepare for placements? So I also created a video actually about uh, like an interview with my senior. So yeah, about like asking all of how did you like school? So you can also watch that if you want. So my my seniors were very helpful in that way. So they were really, really good. So they told me the entire process how it works from A to Z. So uh, in starting, there's like uh, one, one thing called online assessment. So let's suppose there are like 700 people in your college that, that are applying for, well, let's suppose XYZ company. So uh, if they fill the form, the 700 people have to take that online assessment test. So from that online assessment test, uh, there will be like uh, two, three coding questions, uh, mainly on uh, DSA. Uh, and uh, people who like clear or get the, get the best results in the test, like the so most test cases or most or most of the questions get shortlisted in, uh, and the company decides the number. So let's suppose it's like 20, 30 people get shortlisted from 700. And, uh, and then when date is decided, so uh, and then they, they date, there are like, uh, I don't know, average, like uh, four, four, there are three to four interviews. So there are like two technical rounds starting and then there are like professional fitment round and then the HR round. So again, in technical round one and two, they ask a lot of technical questions. So what technical question I'll be, I'll be telling you, just, just wait for two minutes. And then again, taking the round two, and then uh, to uh, not take the round. This is the best professional fitment round, and that's our round. So, for all that my seniors told, uh, you have a good experience, but start with the uh, data success algorithm as soon as possible. So, me, I was from uh, electrical and electronics background, basically circuit branches. So, one very big disadvantage for us is I, I haven't studied uh, computer science fundamentals in my curriculum, and, and that, 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 that's the space where I lack. So uh, and that's the advantage that CS people have. So, what, what I had to do is I had to study all the fundamentals as well. So basically, I'll be telling you what all needs to be, the, uh, what all you need to study for placement. So there's like data structures and algorithms, which is very important. Like, like without that, you won't be able to crack the online assessment. So that's that's like the very important. And and stay with me. I'll tell about. I'll tell you what this is that I use for studying all these. So just just it's in the second part. Like it's in the. I'll tell you in two minutes. So uh, data structures and algorithms first. The second thing is uh, computer science fundamentals. This consists of OS, operating operating system, DBMS, uh, uh, d uh, database management system, uh, CN, computer networks, and MySQL. MySQL is also very important. So these two, and then there's uh, projects. Projects are also very important. So that, that there's a space where I was very confident on because I built like a lot of projects, uh, and the internship experience also matters a lot. And uh, both and and you can't neglect it. And it's very important is soft skills. Trust me, it's one of the biggest factor that that might be uh, in favor with you or, or or be on the opposite side. So, the soft skill is the most fundamental thing you should know, like how to present yourself in interview, how to drive interview, because there are a lot of things which you won't know in the interview. But how to you know, take it forward and be directive, show your personality properly, and how to present yourself in HR rounds, how like, how like be like be as diplomatic as possible in HR rooms. So that's all. That's all. Yeah, basically. In, in terms of technical, this all these three things are necessary. And these four things are also very necessary. So this is what you require for you know uh, uh, for placements, and that's what I've been doing from past uh, three four months. Yeah, three four months. I've been doing. So what resources did I use? So you remember my roommate Ajit Gupta. So he was like very good in DSA. He started DSA from my first year itself. So I went went to him and asked him like what what else should I do? So the I think. Like, like on YouTube, the most famous guy for data structures and algorithms is Striver. Uh, so he's the best. Definitely, he's the best. One of the best. Like, there are other YouTubers as well, but uh, I, I love, like, I like him the most. Uh, why is Striver? Because uh, he's straight to the point. He 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 will not waste your time, and he will tell like multiple approaches. And, and I like the way he teaches. So I I for DJ I, I went to his SG sheet. First, I did like uh, like I covered all the structures, all the uh, fundamental things, linked list, array, binary tree. 
uh, array, like proper array questions and then uh, stacks, queues, heap. So all that I did and then I started uh, doing his SD sheet of Stiver. Uh, and after or doing all that, I started practicing uh, questions on lead code. And I was simultaneously doing that, learning the concepts and simultaneously solving questions on lead code. Like doing that for like past two, three months really helped me a lot. So actually I have complete notes, like I've prepared all the notes of SD sheet, like what are questions I've been solving. So that was about DSA, how I prepared for DSA. Uh, like learning the concept from Striver, applying on LeetCode. That's it. That's it for data structures and algorithms. So it will it will be very helpful for your online assessment. And second thing, on in interview they, can, they might also ask you about they, can, they can also give you about uh, any DSA normal question, not or, or normal or like good learn question as well of linguist, like how to reverse linguist. Then you need to write pseudo code on pen and paper or you know you can, they, he might also ask you to code it in front of him. So data structures is very important for both online assessment test as well as your interview first and second interview technical ones. So after that, computer science, fund, uh, like science fundamentals, OS, DBMS, and computer networks, and SQL queries. So all these also you should know properly. What I did is, uh, for SQL, for all these actually, I did a, uh, a YouTube channel called as Gates Meshers. So me and Ajay together, we watched the complete playlist of OS, DBMS, and uh, computer networks. But again, it's very time consuming. There are like 100 plus videos. Because we started like four, five months back, we were able to finish it. But I, if you are like, uh, uh, like, there's no time, then I also just use this like interview bit where only the top uh, important questions of OS, DBMS, I would probably need to see find out and just can just study that. But we just wanted an overall and complete view so that we, we we did not you know we do not lack anything which computer science guy has. That's why we did that complete OS and front OS to DBMS and uh, computer networks of uh, Gates measures. That's that's wonderful, but it's time consuming. That's the only problem. So yeah, this this is what, I'll, I'll share all the resources in the description. So you just you can just check it out. And coming to projects, so. Pick anything like uh, Ajit picked uh, machine learning and AI. I picked blockchain and development, uh, React and uh, Next.js. So I've been building projects for my first year itself. So I had like a couple of projects in that. Uh, yeah, I was able to confident, confidently. I can talk about my projects for like half an hour and one half, like around second. So, so know what project are you building uh, and don't just copy it from GitHub. Uh, that, that, that's what like, I I won't recommend that at all. And uh, even if it's a simple project, just do it yourself. And the fourth is uh, soft skills. For soft skills, the best thing is give as much as interview as possible. Keep applying online, keep applying uh, online and on LinkedIn on various sites and keep giving interviews, keep giving interviews. And that's how you you know build that thing. You won't be nervous, you'll be confident. And imagine an interview like interaction with your interview. Just keep keep going with don't think of him as like he's judging, you're sitting judging. Just be interactive and and I, I think then things like it. So this is what I've been doing from past three months and now companies are coming in and then like it's, it just started like 15 20 days back the placement season started and like a couple of uh, companies came also and i'll give you updates like uh what all companies came and what companies i'm sitting like if i'm getting selected where i'm getting where i got selected and everything i'll tell you don't worry just stay with me and i also played on video about my resume like how my resume looks like and also sharing the template as well if you want to edit it yourself so that's it about uh, about this video so drop if you have any doubts in comments and uh, like and share and thank you for watching the entire video bye Thank you.